after all the gear is an important part of a trip like this and I get many questions about the gear as well so this video will be all about the gear and my philosophy about gear on uh, longer hiking all in all the gear was 9.7 kilos around which is quite light for a five days trip food included not the camera gear with the camera gear and audio gear it was 13 kilos so the gear I carried everything in this backpack it's my old well quite old not so old Exped Lightning 45 liter if you want a small backpack you can't bring too much stuff with you of course and the stuff that you bring has to be quite compact and light which is one of the ideas having a small backpack and uh, the sleeping bag down bag it's quite compact and light and then the third of the big ones the tent is a tarp tent notch also small light so the backpack the sleeping bag and the tent together is 2.7 kilos which is quite good and for some comfort during the night I have an air mattress I also have this very thin cell foam pad good to have when you're taking breaks sitting down and water I have one half liter water bottle that's all I have in the Swedish mountains you will find water everywhere you don't need to carry any water really I usually only have water in it during the night in the tent and I drink from streams lakes whatever I find and you don't have to worry about drinking the water I have never ever got sick from water and I have been drinking this water from all my life maybe it's because I'm used to it of course but the risk is minimal really and my little mug Kuxa. I didn't bring the wooden kuksa on this one just to keep weight down as much as possible so I took this little foldable plastic mug very practical rain clothes jacket this was the only jacket I had on the trip I almost never used it I had some good weather but it's also it's a uh, both for rain and for wind works quite well and rain trousers never used those at all on this trip and long johns wool didn't use those as well I had two, three shirts, one under, underwear, wool, good in the evenings, during the night, one warmer, wool, and one quite thin fleece, that's all the warm shirts that I had. So if I if it would be very cold I could use them together. I had a gas stove. Very light. 230 grams gas bottle. That's enough for me for a week. I don't use it very much. Coffee and uh, dinner and lunch. So it's four times a day only to boil the water more or less I have this minimal cook set it's half a liter 
and I use it for cooking food and for making coffee and for eating. I have no other plate. I didn't bring a lamp. You don't need a lamp in the Swedish northern summer. It's light, night and day. A knife. Rain cover with the backpack. A pair of thin gloves. Could be cold sometimes in the mountains, even in the summer. And of course, map and compass. Never go without those. Even if you have a GPS, you still need a map. For safety reasons and for enjoyment when you lie in the tent in the evening. Reading the map is one of the best things. Jungelolja, <laughs> this is mosquito repellent. I never used this one either. Actually, it was very little mosquitoes. Quite a lot of uh, horse flies in the sun. But very little mosquitoes. And about the food, I want the food to be simple and fast and light. And I usually try little different things from trip to trip. So bread and coffee for breakfast, noodles, bacon, for lunch, and then some chocolate in the afternoon and coffee again. And in the evening dinner. On this trip I had uh, mashed potatoes and uh, instant rice together with some smoked meat the boots is a very personal thing which you prefer i have these lundhogs forest i've had them for many years now they work really well in all terrains they are waterproof if you wax them before you go but uh, some people prefer lighter boots of course I normally wear a wool shirt, long sleeve, thin wool shirt. But on this trip I took this cotton shirt and a cotton t-shirt because I knew it was going to be quite warm and dry. I wouldn't wear cotton if it was going to be wet. But uh, cotton is very nice when the weather is hot. And the trousers, some standard hiking trousers, nothing fancy. So the clothes on a trip is not only to protect you from the cold, the weather, the wind and rain, but also from insects. So it's good to have, it's good to have uh, clothes that are a little wide. They can be quite thin, but if they are wide, they will protect you from the insects because they it's hard for them to bite through clothes that are wide, like this cotton shirt. It's very thin, but since it's wide, it's always moving and it's always air underneath. It adds quite good protection from the insects, the bugs. I think I have covered most of the gear now. But the gear is very personal. It's very hard to advise someone what to take. You have to find out for yourself what works for you. This is what works for me and I'm very happy with this gear. I have used it for a few years now. And I, I know that it works. I know that I will be happy with it on the trip. Another important thing is to accept that you're outdoors, accept that you cannot have the same comfort as when you're at home. Everything is more primitive, simple. So that's a very important part of being outdoors, to have the knowledge, not only about the gear and hiking, but also about nature. The area where you're going, you can read about it and uh, learn about the plants, the animals, birds, 
that you can find there it will it will really enrich the experience of being outdoors when you know about these things i realize that many people they don't have the knowledge they are more afraid about animals and anything that can happen when you're out but the more you know about it the less afraid you will be it's just the way it is you can cure your fear with knowledge people often talk about bears and wolves I have never seen a bear after all the years in the forests <laughs> in northern Sweden so you understand that if you see one you're very lucky I really hope I will one day but don't waste your time to be afraid of being outdoors because there's nothing to be afraid of it's just a waste of energy and time just use your common sense respect nature after all we are a part of it right okay thanks for watching hope this helped you a little if you're going on a hike and i hope to see you again soon in the coming adventures bye